Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley if you're new to my channel. What's up? So today I decided to film a makeup tutorial on this look. Now the palette that I use for today's look is this one. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume Number no. 2 palette. Now in case you guys haven't seen it, don't know what it looks like at all, have been living under a rock, and now this is what it looks like. This is such a beautiful palette. It's one of the palettes right now that I'm constantly grabbing because it just makes me want to play with colors. So if you guys have been thinking about getting it, I definitely recommend it. But anyways, if you guys have it, take it out and if if you don't that's okay maybe you have a similar palette with the color store that I'm gonna be using for today but no further ado let's go ahead and get started so to get started I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes I'm gonna be using this P Louise eyeshadow base this is in the shade rumor 02 and I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this out on the eyelid I also want to say if you guys can hear some noise I'm sorry but I have my window open because it's so hot <laughs> it's so hot so I'm just gonna use my finger again and blend this out also what I had already applied in the eyes um, well on the brow bone area is some concealer because I'm gonna be doing the whole eye look before I do the rest of my makeup I'm also gonna apply some of this underneath where my lower lashes are because like I said I'm gonna do the whole eye look and I like to do a smoky under eye so I definitely need some color under here so with this JH35 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called a Therapy Sesh, which is this beautiful, bright, purple, pink color. And I'm going to be applying this on the crease because I need, I need some color. That's what I'm going for today. And I'm just going to be going back and forth until I am satisfied with the color payoff as well as the placement. So aside from putting it just on the crease, I'm also going to work it on the outer part of the eye, kind of creating a V, but slowly and surely. You don't want to grab too much because then it's going to make it really, really hard to blend. So I always say, you know, start very lightly. Like you saw the first wash was a little bit more pink, and then now it's like really going in. Did you guys watch the James Charles um, Instant Influencer, you know, show episode one? What are your thoughts on it? It was actually pretty good, but something that I learned from there, and this is why I'm recording kind of from far away, is that he critiqued one of the girls' his video saying that, you know, she cropped, you know, her head off or whatever. And sorry, I forgot to put my phone on site. I will do so right after this. But she, I mean, he criticized her for, you know, cutting off her head. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I do that all the time. But it's like, you can't please everybody. Some people are like, I need you to like zoom in because I really want to pay attention to like what you're doing on the eye. And some people are like, no, like zoom out. Like, why are you so, zo so, so zoomed in? And it's like, I don't know. So what are your thoughts on that? Like I watch some people and like some people do zoom in. Some people don't. Like James Charles, he actually doesn't zoom in all the time. He does it for specific reasons at times, but for most of the time, he is actually kind of zoomed out. And um, I have big shoulders, and I usually have my hair in a bun like this when I'm filming, so it's kind of hard not to crop like my head, you know? But let me know. Do you guys prefer zoomed in? Do you guys don't care? Like, let me know. Look at how beautiful this color is. So also something to keep in mind is that I kind of have hooded eyes. So that's why I bring the color up so much as well as outward too for that reason. But anywho, I'm going to be using this brush now. This is the JH37 brush. And I'm going to go in with this color here called Not My Journey, which is a beautiful dark purple. Now this shade here, I'm going to be applying it on the outer part of the eye to really darken this look out. And let's do it. So remember just focusing in on the outer part of the eye, kind of creating that V effect. There she is. She's coming to life. So in my other video that I just posted, I uh, talked about how I was watching this show called Too Hot to Deal. And I was saying how, like, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I, like, I didn't really like it. I just had only watched, like, two episodes. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go check it out on Netflix. But I finished watching it, and I'm not going to spoil anything. I just want to say that I ended up kind of liking it. I couldn't help it. But at the same time, I was like, eh, about it. So it's, like, weird. I had mixed feelings, but I was, like, I am still addicted to it because it was just, you know, like full of entertainment I guess you can say so if you're bored and you like reality TV shows I would say go watch it 
And I'm just gonna continue to blend and blend and blend some more. Sorry if I keep looking that way, but I'm like looking at my monitor because since I'm kind of zoomed out, I get scared that since I have the mirror in front of me that it can blur it and then I'm gonna be out of focus. So that's what I'm doing, but I'm still blending, girl. You should be blending too. And you can continue to layer this until you're satisfied with the way that it looks. You guys can see again, I'm focusing on the outer part of the eye, but I am bringing it to the crease, but not all the way in. Just more like from here, down, and then in from the bottom. So like that V, and then bring it in a little bit like that. I hope I'm kind of making sense. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and use this Morphe E27 brush. It doesn't have any color on here. I'm just going to use this to buff out the outer parts because I need this to be a little bit more smooth and more blended. So I'm going kind of like, I'm taking the brush and I'm just doing kind of this here, tapping it up. And you can also do like circular motions, but you want to hold this brush very lightly. So now I'm going to add a little bit more color. So I'm going to be using this Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to grab this color here called a Tipsy Girl, which is this bright pink right here. I know this color looks a little bit intimidating and trust me. I know, I'm a little like, I hope this turns out good. And I'm just gonna use this to buff out this color. And this kind of answers some of your questions. Not every single, you know, beauty goo goo, whatever you wanna call them, plans out their looks ahead. Like right now I'm just going with the flow, playing with colors and creating looks. I don't usually practice before I like do a video. Does that make sense to you? So I'm going back with the JH35 brush and whatever is left with this brush, which is the one that I used to grab the Therapy Sesh. I feel like there's a little bit of disconnection between that pink shade that I use and then that purple. So I'm just going to go in and whatever is left on that brush, focus it on the crease, blending outward. And now with this JH30 brush, I'm going to grab this color here called a Certified, which is just like... Kind of like a white, but it's not really a white because it has a little, it's a cream color, which is still pretty good. I like this one to add as like a transition shade. So I'm just going to use this to blend out up here. That way it's a little bit more soft and more filled. By filled, I just mean that it's not, it's going to be more connected. That way it's not going to be so like bald on the eyebrow area. Like there's still some color and it's blending everything together. Guess what time it is? It's time for a little break. It's time for us to sip our little tea or whatever you're drinking. What I have going on here is I made uh, my passion tea lemonade, Starbucks edition, but at home, girl. So I bought the Tazo, I think that's how you say it, ice passion tea. So all you do is you literally just boil the water. Usually you do about four cups of water and then you pour it with the tea that it comes with. You let it you know, sit for maybe five minutes or so, and then you add four cups of lemonade, and girl, there you go. Your passion tea lemonade. So easy to do, so easy and so good. The so time for the eyelid shade. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush like this one. Any flat eyeshadow brush will do. You guys see me use this a lot, and it just does not have a brand. So if you guys are wondering, I just don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But I'm going to go in with this color here called A Moment. And again, I'm just going to be applying this all over the ojito. So let me just tap this in. You could go ahead and clean up the eye and then apply this shade for more of a pop. But I, I just don't, I just wasn't in the mood to do that. So it's completely up to you. But I'm just going to bring this out towards the other part of the eye. Maybe up to like right here. Because I don't want to cover the eyelid. I still want there to be a little bit of a transition of like matte and shimmer. Now it's time to smoke out the lower lashes. I'm using a flat little brush like this one and this is the Morphe 432 brush and I grabbed the color Not My Journey which is that dark purple that we use on the outer part of the eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and focus this underneath the lash line. <laughs> My lower lash line. Sorry it took me a minute there but I'm focusing it yeah underneath the lash line because I'm going to smoke this out and because I do have a little line right here that goes down and it makes my eye look a little bit droopy, I really like to fill that in to kind of make the eye look a little bit appear. I don't know what that sound effect was, but 
I'm just trying to look snatched, okay? So now with this Morphe M506 brush, it has a little bit of that therapy sesh color. And I'm gonna use this to smoke out the lower lash line. Now I know some people don't like to do this and honestly, sorry, but can't relate. I like a good shmogi under eye. I just feel like it makes everything blend better and you just have a good like, you know, just a good overall color, up and lower. Now time for the inner corner highlight, which I'm always super excited to do. And if you wanna go ahead and just use this palette, you're more than welcome to. Normally the color that I would like for the inner corner would be like this one, which is called I'm In It. But I've used it before and I just, I don't know, I'm looking for something a little bit more shimmery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. And when you open this baby up, this is the color I'm gonna use. It's gonna be this color here, which is called Mineral. I just feel like the other one is just not that like shabam for me. And not only that, but I feel like that's just the one that I constantly use for the inner corner for that palette. So yeah, cause the other shades are a little too dark. So I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm just gonna apply it on the inner corner to give a nice little like, bam. Look at that, a good little highlight moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. I'm gonna do the other eye and do the rest of my face makeup and then we'll come back to add the final touches. All right, so I am back. Let's go ahead and finish these eyes. I'm gonna be using a eyelash curler now cause it's time to curl them lashes, girl. So try to get as close as possible and snatch so we can go ahead and put some mascara on. The mascara I'm going to be using is this one. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I'm only going to be applying it on the top lashes because I'm going to put my falsies now. And I always like to do that first before I put on any eyeliner on the waterline as well as any mascara on the bottom lashes. Because I just feel like they stick if I do this. Like if I put some on on the top and on the bottom, I feel like my eyes... Uh, like my lashes end up sticking together and then I have a hard time. So I got distracted because I was like thinking of a million things and I ended up putting a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, but that's okay, I think it should be fine. Now for my false lashes, I'm gonna be using this here. This is the Celeste Los Angeles Eyelash Book. When you open it up, it looks like, oop, it's gonna come off. <laughs> it looks like this. Now, all of these are super, super dramatic. So, if you're not into that, then I wouldn't suggest it. But if you're into, like, dramatic lashes, then you'll definitely like this one. So, the ones I'm gonna use today is gonna be this one. These are the Sade. Those are the ones I'm gonna put on today. I really hope I say her name right, but I believe her name is That's Ray Ray on YouTube. And she showed us a trick on how to apply lashes faster and easier. And let me know if you guys seen this trick before. Now the thing is, it works, because I've tried, but at the same time, I can't put it on the way that she did. So basically, you're gonna wanna get your eyelash glue, and usually you wanna get the one that has the little wand. And basically, you're literally gonna be applying the eyelash glue as close as possible to your lash, like, well, I mean your eyelid area slash, as close to your lashes. Not like literally on your lashes. I don't know if I'm making sense, but you can kind of see the glue there. But the thing is, I always end up getting a little bit of glue on my actual lashes, like on the tips. So, um, and she didn't. And I was a little like, what the hell? How come I can't get it like you? And then that way you don't have to put the glue on the actual lashes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these on. You see, that was like way much easier and it's actually sticking because whenever I actually put on the lashes, it just always pops off on the inner corner as well as the outer corner. And right now, honey boo boo, they're in. All right, so here's the last step. So I'm gonna be using this black eyeliner from MAC and I'm gonna be applying this on the top waterline. This is going to help connect the lashes because I don't want to see a gap, so it's going to help because I didn't put any actual like liner on the eyelid, so it's going to help just blend better. And now with this nude eyeliner, this is from NYX, this is the Wonder Pencil. I'm going to be applying this on the lower lash line. This is going to help open up the eye. And again, back with the L'Oreal Mascara, I'm just going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes. And that completes this look. So 
so this is the final look i hope you guys like this look if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i try to upload at least three times a week and my channel is mostly based on beauty and fashion but i do upload little like random vlogs or like diys or little things like that so if you guys are interested make sure to subscribe and make sure to also hit that bell button to get notified whenever i upload new videos so that way whenever i upload you get a notification on your phone that says hi ashley marley upload a new video that way you never miss out and if you guys are wanting to follow me on instagram snapchat and tiktok i post little previews of what i'm filming and other good stuff and again thank you guys so 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 much for watching and before i check out if you guys are interested in these contacts that i am wearing i'll go ahead and put them on the description box so make sure to check that out but yeah again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye